Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And together we're our time of the month. Today we're bringing you our most recent and updated Amazon favorites video. Ooh, this is one of our most popular videos. I feel like it's also how a lot of people end up finding us. So if you're new here, welcome. If this is your first video, we film a lot of beauty and lifestyle content. What I was gonna say is I feel like I've watched a lot of Amazon videos, but I feel like I'm seeing a lot of the same things over and over again. Yes. These are things I don't think you'll see in many people's. Correct. All of mine are completely random. Are completely random. Yep. I've never seen anyone else talk about them and so I'm here to do it. That's right. That's right. Also, just to get this out of the way, in case we look like we're in a side-by-side -side screen, we are in the same place. We are. <laughs> it's just a wall. I don't know if how this hasn't come up yet, but I actually do have a dog. He was originally placed with me temporarily and now it's a full-time thing. So when I first got him, I didn't go out and buy him a bunch of stuff. And now that I know that he is permanently in my home, I have decided to go ahead and upgrade all of his stuff. And one of the things that I got him was yeah. this dog bed. So I got him this, I think it's called like a, like a cozy dog bed. I call it his donut. Now I cannot get him out of this bed. Yeah. Now that he has it, cozy. he won't get out of it. I will say I do also put a folded fluffy blanket on top of it that's mm -hmm. like really, really, really soft. So there's that too. Plenty of dogs would probably just like it as is, but you know, I got a little prince over there. But it has like a slightly like non-skid bottom, which mm -hmm. I don't think, but I just, I think he really likes the fact that it has the high walls. Yeah. Because it, make it makes it feel like he's being snuggled. Well, it's like a cocoon. It's like he's in the puppy pile. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that we ripped them away from. I know that always makes me sad. My first item is actually something that I don't really use, but my husband does. So this is the remote wireless barbecue and meat thermometer with three probes. Here, Caitlin, please hold up my things so I can show you my probes. This little guy that doesn't have a pokey bit is to measure the internal temperature of your oven or grill. Wonderful. Then these two are probes that you can put into two different types of meat and cook them at the same time at different temperatures. And this will track it and tell you which meat is cooking at which temperature. You also could do if you have like a really large piece of meat, like a brisket, one in the like one in yeah. the small end, one in the large, and then you could take you could in theory like take it off in time for the Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, like this. moist versus lean. Yeah. Like how they do it at Mission Barbecue. Mm -hmm. And then even inside so we have a Traeger, which is a smoker grill. Mike uses it a lot for that, but then we also use it inside in our oven. Mm -hmm. This just tells you what the suggested temperatures are for the meat that you're cooking. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Is there anything else I'm missing? No. You can literally put it on your belt loop, you guys. What do you do with this one? Probes are connected to that one, and that stays by the device you're making your food in. Okay. Oh, so it's so Bluetooth. The, it's got like a little kickstand that you would just set up on the side of your grill. Or it's smoker. genius. So for Christmas, I got Mike a lot of grilling accessories, and this is the one that he's using all the time. All the time, all the time. So this is the aforementioned dog. She got him on Amazon. Hello! Um, he is 12 and a jerk. Him so, and Barkley are the same age. It's so funny. Yeah. Um, so he is about 12 to 15 pounds. He, he varies slightly. Um, but I got him this little buffalo check fleece jacket on Amazon and I have been very happy with it. I was gonna say, does it have the leash hole? It yeah, does. it does have the leash hole, although Ted wears a harness because it's better for his throat because he's mm -hmm. a little bit of a puller. I really like this one because it has like a little stand-up collar and I think it just makes it really, really sweet. He looks super preppy. That's what I thought too. But yeah, I've had so many people compliment him in this sweater while walking around the neighborhood, but he like he doesn't need to wear it all the time. I like how easy it is to get on and off. He doesn't have to wear it all the time, although he has been. He's pretty much been wearing it 24 seven since yeah. before Christmas. It feels lightweight enough yeah. that it wouldn't be an issue. And he does not fight putting it on. Like he's a little annoying when it goes over his head, but other than that, he's like, okay, put on my, put on my sweater now. You know, this is a very mainstream item, something you've seen a bunch of people talk about. It's a Kindle. I love my Kindle, and I fought it for the longest time because I'm a physical book lover. I love the feeling of holding a book. I like the smell. I like the whole ritual of it. It is very much ritualistic. This has just upped my reading game. I read so much more now than I did before because I feel like I can just transport this so easily everywhere. Mm -hmm. it, it just leaves the house when I leave the house. But, you know, Kindle, great, love it. Putting a pop socket on your Kindle, yeah. I'm here to just tell you, it changes the game. Hi, watch me read books and then flip the page. Uh -huh. Because otherwise, my hand can hold it, like I can hold it, but then I would need my other hand to turn the page. Yeah. This is to maximize the laziness, uh -huh. y'all. It's just a game changer, and I did put mine towards the far left because 
when I hold it like this, it's on the right, and that's how you would turn the page. Pop sockets are the shit. You can put them on anything. I love my pop socket so much. So do I. And I know people love the loopy case, but I feel like it's a very divisive, like you're either pop socket or your loopy case. But can you put a loopy case on a Kindle? I just feel like this has really changed the game. I can read in the bathtub. The next thing I got was something that I almost ended up buying off of Instagram. I think it was an Instagram ad or it was a TikTok. It was TikTok. And it's called 100%. Floppy Fish. Floppy Fish. And my, again, okay, Teddy is a weird, old, curmudgeon y dog. So Ted doesn't like toys. But for some reason, I was thinking that he might be interested in toys. So I decided I'll get him a really cheap version of the one I saw on TikTok, which I think was like $25. Mm -hmm. And I bought him one that was under $10 off of Amazon. And I turned it on, and no shit, he loves it. Yeah. He it's loves it one. because what it does is it has a motor in it and it flops the tail. Unfortunately, yep, there it is. The version I bought died immediately because I bought the super cheap one, but I am going to go back and buy another one because Danielle and Mike bought it. I, I hear it. my dog at the top of the steps. Coming. Yes. Um, but yeah, so it will just literally lay on the ground and it will flop its tail mm -hmm. and it will continue flopping until there's no action. So once your dog is done playing with it, yeah. it will eventually stop moving. Teddy loves it. And even though I took the motor out of this one, he still plays with this a lot. I think because of his association, like he's still waiting for it to move again. Right. And so like when I play with it with him, I'm always like shaking it around. Yeah. But it was just so exciting for me to see a 12 year old dog start playing with toys when he's never played with toys yeah. before. Barkley is so in love with this that when we plug it into the UP U USB port in our wall to charge it, he goes over to it and tries to get it to play with him while it's charging. And we're uh, like, no, 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 you're going to electrocute yourself. Yeah. I bought him this at the same time that I bought him one of those dog puzzles which I also highly recommend. The, is it the kind that you put like a treat in? You put, I just sprinkle his kibble in it and it's got like doors and slides and oh. all kinds of stuff. He figured it out immediately, the little turd. And I just like to watch them carry it around while the tail is going mop, 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 mop. I actually also, does it all the time. But also for some reason, I don't know why, I love to go, get your fish, get your fish. Is get that your fish? fish? Whose fish is get that? Get the fish. Whose fish is that? And they have different fish. You can even get like a clown fish. I know, that trout. makes me sad. I'm like, don't give me Nemo. I don't want Ted to get Nemo. Do you want a trout? I'm taking supplements mm. and I might be taking a hormone replacement therapy in the future. I'm not sure yet. It's like Xantrex? Are you taking... Is that, a is that what it was? What were all those like fat burning, like scary ones that came out in the like early, like late Fenfen? night? Well, yes. Are you on Fenfen? Is that your supplement? Yes, I'm on Fenfen. I don't even know where to buy it. I don't really like getting into the big bottles for my for my vitamins and for my probiotics every single day. So I was like, I would like a small but cute pill container slash organizer. And I don't love the ones that say S, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, I, it, they're cute, whatever. And I think that there is definitely a need for them. I just wanted something different. I wanted it to be difficult. And so I found these little baby tackle boxes. Four in a pack for $9.99. Yes. Um, and so when I first got it, I was like, oh my God, I've got to unsnap all these things to get in. No, you just do this. Blah. Welcome to my pill catalog. Look at it. I feel like when I was really into beading during the, qu yeah. the quarantine, I could have put them in here and like traveled. Mm -hmm. My travel beads. Ooh. Earrings. What a missed opportunity. I agree. Travel I'm, beads. I might do it. <laughs> Next time I go somewhere, I'm going to pack my travel beads. So here's the thing. I think some people might not like this because there are not seven days in a row, but I don't care. I am just going to You know you fill, miss a day every week anyway. I'm so. going to just fill up the individual compartments. I'm still waiting on some supplements to arrive actually from Beauty Pie. Caitlin and I both are waiting on this. So I'm going to be filling these up like you've never seen before. And I'm going to be over here taking my probiotics and my broccoli cruciferous supplements for my estrogen. What about the stickers? Oh, stickers. Shit, good call. So just in case you do want stickers, they do give them to you. So you can do a number, you could do a day. Uh, you could also just write your own, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to label these with what the little compartments are and then I'll know. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can just throw this in my bag and look how cool it is. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of like a Barbie luggage. But I also think that's because it's the pink one. Like it doesn't necessarily, the ones that are more neutral yeah. don't look as um, Barbie-ish, like yeah. Barbie toys. But I 
feel like they're about the size of like a men's wallet. They're slightly smaller. Deck of cards. Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly a deck of cards, right? Pretty much. But I just thought for camping and stuff, I will absolutely do this. I'll put like painkillers, like Tylenol, <laughs> painkillers. <laughs> I'll get my morphine out of the closet. <laughs> I've never said painkillers in my life. Painkillers. <laughs> They're gonna, they're gonna think I'm on fenthen and narcotics. <laughs> Whatever. What, uh, what's in a painkiller drink? I don't know, but I've ordered one of those before. I feel like that I can associate you with. But for camping, I could put allergy pills. I can do Tylenol. I can do all kinds of things. I could put edibles in here. Mm -hmm. I could put earrings in here when mm -hmm. I'm traveling, like all your little backs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you wanted to, you could get crazy. And put your cleansing balm in here. Well, and I was your gonna moisturizer in here. Well, I was gonna say, w will it hold it? Do you think it's hundred percent? It won't leak out the edges. No way. Hmm. I'd be curious because that would be very convenient if you could just like dip in and it would be enough for one trip. Yeah. Hmm. And it's totally washable. Oh, nice. Anyhow, get yourself some Barbie suitcases for all your peels. I really am excited. So, uh, Teddy was recently limping. He, he didn't suffer an injury. I didn't see him do anything. He just all of a sudden had a pretty significant limp on one of his right front feet. And I like gave him, I gave him like a whole, uh, you know, what's it called? Massage? No. Well, yes, that too. But I gave him a whole exam to see if he made a sound or avoided my touch anywhere to see if it was an actual injury. And I couldn't find anything. And so you're like a vet now. Pretty much. Also, I don't have money, so I can't take him to the vet just to figure out what he was doing when he dicked around and hurt himself. So I decided I would just observe it for a little while, like keep an eye on him. But so I did also decide that since he is getting older and he does sort of get up a little bit slower and all this stuff, and because of the limp, I was gonna start giving him the Zesty Paws Mobility Bites Hip and Joint. So this has um, no artificial preservatives or flavors, no synthetic colors. It's made in the USA and globally sourced ingredients. So it has like glucosamine, Opta MSM, like a bunch of different things. Right, probably. Yeah, and there's some like coconut oil, flaxseed, garbanzo flour, whatever. I did Google it. Like I Googled to see what how they were, what people recommended and what ingredients they said were actually most effective for over the counter. Yeah, that's, hip and joint that's like arthritis. Um, so this is not like this is absolutely not like the best arthritis that you can get on the arthritis medicine for dogs you can get on the market. It's not even technically a medicine. But it's, it's a expensive. supplement. <laughs> it is a little bit expensive. I think it's like $25. Oh, I mean the, the oh, arthritis yes. stuff is expensive. That stuff. And also, but I will say, since he started sleeping on the floor and stopped jumping up and down on, on to my bed, and I think since I started giving him these, the limp is completely gone. I haven't seen anything about it. So this just kind of helps prevent a flare up. Yeah, so this just helps to like lubricate his joints a little bit. I think it's the same as like when people take collagen supplements. Yeah. Um, it's similar to that. Like it's not gonna help actually do anything, but it is gonna make you feel a little bit better yeah. on a day to day basis. They're bacon flavor, he freaking loves them. Well then there you go, that's all that matters. I will say he's also not really like food motivated and he has loved every single Zesty Paws treat I've ever tried. Like he sees him he and he's like, even know that you're just medicating him right exactly he was like mm. would you drug your baby for sure listen this is not an amazon exclusive product you can buy this anywhere i just happened to buy it on amazon because i was desperate one night to fix some acne flare-ups i'd been having and you know what i learned what anesthesia can seriously cause act like temporary acne and hair loss which i've had huh. both so i wonder if it's the anesthesia Curious. I've never you know, heard that who knows? Before. I'm just self diagnosing over here. Yeah, WebMD. I had been having tons of little bumps on my forehead and on my chin. I was definitely having some hormonal breakouts. And then along my hairline, which was weird because I hadn't been using any new hair products. And so I did some Googling and I just wanted to really dial it back and use some really basic, unscented things. So I went with good old CeraVe. And I bought the facial moisturizing lotion PM version. I bought this one first and it says PM, but there's nothing in here that you cannot use in the middle of the day on your face. It's unscented. It's sort of like a gel cream texture, mm -hmm. super inexpensive for this big bottle. It's not the most hydrating thing in the entire world. And so I would use this like once a day just to give my skin a break. And it has a little bit of salicylic acid in there. So that's helping treat any active spots. 
I am very loyal to my Origins Checks and Balances cleanser, but it does have some different oils and scents in there that can mm -hmm. sort of aggravate your skin. So I wanted to get something nice and gentle, and so I got the CeraVe Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser. This is non-comedogenic. It doesn't have a scent. It does have a lather, but it doesn't have so sodium lauryl sulfate in it or anything like that, so it's not super drying but it is a little bit drying. Again, a once a day kind of thing for me. I usually just do it in the shower. These things have just been nice and these are dermatologist recommended and they're mm -hmm. affordable. If you are on a budget, your cleanser is something that goes down the drain. Yeah. Don't spend a shit ton of money on it, honestly. This was $10. Mm -hmm. It's gonna last forever. This was like under 15 and it's three ounces. Wow. Right? Mm -hmm. And it has a pump. And also when you Google, like best yeah. cleanser, best you know skincare products for sensitive skin or dry skin or whatever. These Saturdays always come always up. on them. Yep. I've really been seeing their commercials a lot lately. They're like really trying to throw, shove it down my throat, and it's worked. Someone has a moisturizing oil that I really want to try. Yes, Aquaphor. No, Eucerin. Is that who it is? Eucerin. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. I, I look for it. I want to try it so bad. It's out of stock on Amazon until like February 9th. Probably because everyone knows it's good. Ugh. You really wound that up beautifully. Thank you, it makes it, well, that's part of the reason that I love this. So this year I got the largest Christmas tree I've ever had. It was over nine feet tall and I realized, well not realized, but I had a suspicion that I wasn't gonna have enough lights. That's probably not true because when I Googled how many they, how many lights people recommend, they say it's like 100 to 150 lights per, per foot. foot. Yeah. And I decided that 2,000 seemed like a better number. I decided to go out and I bought these. I had actually bought similar sets of these from Amazon before, so I knew that I could find them. And I just love this whole situation. One, the wheel. I cannot explain to you how much I love the wheel for Christmas lights. I never want to store them or purchase them any other way again. I agree. Because how else? Like So compact. This is like 50 feet long, I think. And you don't have to shove it back in a box. Who no. Who wants to do and that? And I was never doing that. And they won't. this won't tangle in the box. And also, it, it just keeps everything so nice and compact. I used a TikTok tree lighting hack that I saw, which was to light the trunk with a separate strand of lights so i lit the trunk of my tree i just like shoved them in there and then i went and i wrapped around my tree also i don't go around my tree i go in a c shape and then i bounce back and then Whoa. a c shape and i bounce back i do a zigzag oh yeah but this huh. just it just makes it so that you don't have to like walk all the way around your tree yeah. i have a wall side it's not like people are viewing my tree 360. that exact light is what i use as my porch lights mm -hmm. they're wrapped around my banister yeah and i will say this particular one is not it doesn't have settings i don't know yes it does oh yes it does i can okay. do all I, it has a bunch of different like twinkly settings yeah. and stuff which is nice my next favorite is a very much a gucci inspired silk satin scarf pattern mm -hmm. number that I have here. I bought these over the summer and I found myself wearing them a lot. I liked them in my hair. I liked them around my neck. I'm pretty sure there's a video of me wearing this yes. one around my neck. I found that they were just the perfect floral, like a Dutch painting. I know that's very specific, but in my mind, I'm like, oh, this reminds me of some Dutch art that I used to learn about in art history. I loved the earth tones of it. I liked the little creatures. I was just super into it. And it's really, really soft. What's wrong? It has holly berries on it. Yeah, and beetles and surprising. stuff. <laughs> oh, beetles, I like that one. Really, really soft. And the the quality just seems amazing for Amazon. So, oh, pff, I'm so sorry. It's fine, you didn't get me in the face. Oh, I didn't? No, just oh, cut titty. I don't want to spend oodles of dollars on a faux silk scarf, Not so I'll spend less oodles and I'll buy these two for like 10 or $12, I think it was. You can tie it on a handbag. That yes. seems like something Kayla Mello would do. I have done that 100%. Oh, but you can tie them so many fun different ways. I actually found a lady on TikTok who ties her scarves like a buckaroo knot and a la 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 knot and all these different knots. And I got a lot of inspiration from her. And I also just like them in your hair. I think they're real cute in the hair. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so get yourself some fun scarves. They have tons of patterns. You don't have to go floral. Something that I really do not want to spend a lot of money on because it's a dispo it's pretty much a disposable item. It's wrapping paper. It's temporary. It's human wrapping paper is lingerie. I 
decided I had a friend that was coming to visit <laughs> and you know I wanted to give him a present that present was me yep so I got a couple different things I'll talk about one now and one later this two-piece set with like a bralette and then a thong underpant well baby in this red it's got like a red lining and then black lace over top and then it also has these really slagina um <laughs> details that wait where is that this on is crisscross over my butt this is like your Chris butt cross applesauce on your crack yeah like your butthole is like right see this is your thongy bit yeah yeah so that and then it also has it between your breasts the twicks uh-huh so it's a little like rare the thing that i don't have is that it also came a medieval witch it also came with um uh-huh garter straps uh-huh i remember seeing those at her house yeah it came with garter straps they've fallen off um but i really really liked this i didn't think that i was gonna like a two-piece because my midsection is probably the thing i'm most um self-conscious about and i also liked it because it doesn't have like a shitload of padding in it or anything yes. it's just a bralette so it it's just seems like comfortable it is <laughs> Right? Like, uh, oftentimes, have you ever seen the way some of these things are pieced together? You're like, how am I supposed to get that on? It's a puzzle. Yes. So, I, like, this one is, like, the most loungewear of lingerie I've ever bought. It somehow is bet between both. Yeah. And then these were um, very high-waisted, which was necessary for me. Not very high-waisted. They don't go up past your belly button, I don't think. Um, but it just kept everything sort of, like... <laughs> But yeah, I really liked it. I thought they were cute. I thought it was different. For some reason, it gave me like pirate vibes. Like I just felt like I could. <laughs> yes, you look like a witch. I could like cosplay. Well, well that, when I was like like yeah. a medieval witch, it was more like a wench. A wench. Yo, yo ho, yo ho. Yeah. Yes, I agree. It, for some reason, if like if I had put on like a pirate hat and had a yeah, it would have been like okay. We're now just role playing. Chill, Sparrow. Like slowly <laughs> pirate. Exactly what Caitlin said. Totally. I have something equally slutty for you. You just wear this with underwear and call it a day? <laughs> I did the day I tried it on. I didn't have a bra on, so my nipples were like, Lear! <laughs> it's a dickie, which is yes. like a half a shirt. Not even a half a shirt. It's an eighth of a shirt. It's a bib. It's a collar. Yes, it's a collar, Take and you can wear this under various sweaters or other shirts. I really like it under a crew neck style sweater, but it just is a way to give you the illusion that you're wearing a collared shirt underneath something without having to deal with all the bunching and the gathering of the fabric. The bulk. Uh, so I have it in this really fun bedazzly one, and then I also did just go ahead and buy a plain white one. I have not looked at it. Let's look at it together. I I love the look of a collared shirt under a sweater. Yes, so I really I. love it. Um, and I also got a chambray one, but that one's been in the wash. Okay, same sort of situation. It's really kind of nice that they do this little elastic on the side because then it won't <laughs> fall down or forward. That's the part that makes me laugh the hardest. It's just so weird. So, you know, uh, fake it till you make it is sort of the theme for that. And the best part is you don't have to measure yourself. You don't have to know what length sleeves. You don't have to know what length, like tunic length. I, don't, I never know which one to go for because I mm -hmm. don't like a lot of excess fabric. And you and I could both wear that. Yes. Yeah, it wouldn't, like the sizing is really not important. It's a moo point. Moo point? Moo point. Yes. Uh-huh. The, the one that I'm most excited for is this gorgeous orchid colored bodysuit. Yeah, that's a good color. With this like really, really beautiful soft detail of the eyelash lace up on your titty. Oh, that's not a wire. It's not a wire. So it I gives you, that. they used a seam to emphasize your underbust, but they didn't actually put a wire in it. So this is really great for travel because it straight up falls up. I also really like, and this is a common thing with another piece of lingerie that I've ordered off of Amazon. It has this really nice seam that runs across your waist mm -hmm. to define it. Like I just, oh. It also has adjustable straps and then a uh, snap crotch. Oh, tear away crotch. Love that for you. Yeah. So, and I will say, <laughs> I do enjoy keeping them on. Yeah. You pay money for it. Exactly. I want to extend it. So having the snap crotch is really great because then you can still wear it and still be like, okay, I got my money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The next two things I do not have to physically show you because one is heavy and one is covered in feces. The first, oh, <laughs> I forgot what they were for a second. The first is, it's, it's not covered in feces, but there probably is an essence. Oh, for, no, no, no. There's definitely poo spray. A squatty potty. I didn't get the plastic one. I got the bamboo one because I just think it looks a little bit nicer. Okay. If you get the plastic one, there's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. It works the same. I was using a boot box before I got it. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. 
I got a squatty potty after I had a hysterectomy because the constipation was the worst part. And I've told m multiple people that. It was so incredibly painful in every way imaginable. I needed to find the best and quickest way to get shit out of me. <laughs> So I was taking all the things I was supposed to be taking and I could finally feel like I could maybe go, but because I had had abdominal surgery, I wasn't really allowed to strain. When you're constipated, yeah. that is a strain. Yeah. So I finally invested in a squatty potty at the encouragement of my dad, who's been using it for years and years. And <laughs> He's so gangly. I feel like his knees are up in his <laughs> like face. He's like a spider. He's like a spider. I just picture his knees. Like, like a grasshopper. So... Yes. That's ex yes. yes. It's a grasshopper. So I finally got one because I was desperate and the boot box wasn't working because I was like crushing it with my strength. And I am not kidding you. I haven't stopped using it since. It is a dream. It literally puts you in the position that your body is meant to be in for poop to evacuate the premises. Mm -hmm. It slides out. That's it. It literally is like one of those slides with a burlap sack at the state fair. Zoop, done. <laughs> And I know it sounds like, oh, it slides out. It does. It just, your body is in a position that is conducive to a good and satisfying dookie. <laughs> That's all I have to say. So I didn't want to show it to you because people get weird about it. Highly recommend. And I do really like the bamboo version. It looks like a squatty potty, but it looks fancier. Yeah. You've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. It, it is better than the traditional yeah. one. The next thing I have is for to use like before and after the last thing that I've talked yeah, about. Before and after sex care. So this is the Mamataro Apotha... Apotha... Oh, I thought Apotheca? it was... Apotheca? Apotheca? Apotheca. Mm -hmm. Mamataro Apotheca Salve. This was something that I used to... There used to be a girl I followed on Instagram who was oh, like yeah. extremely sex positive and she She's mentioned using gone. this. And I... Yeah, I haven't even thought about her in forever. She's gone. But um, I think she works with them now. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah. Uh, but so I was having a lot of BV. I was getting B. I, I just felt like mm. I constantly had BV. I constantly felt like I was slightly uncomfortable. Something wasn't quite right. Um, and so I actually decided to start getting this and I really, really liked it. So it has a combination of oils. It's got jojoba, our favorite, <laughs> tea tree, organ grape, Golden seal, echinacea, calendula, coconut, shea, oh, what's that say? Beeswax. Um, it's just a combination of oils. Oh, it smells very medicinal. It's very like medicinal herbal. Yeah. Um, it's thick. It I, smells a little bit like Biofreeze. Yeah. So, but it doesn't, I mean, it does have a cooling sensation, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice on your labia. And I'm talking about like, this is for your external bits. That's what I need right now. Oh, yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we can scoop some out and put it in here. Um, but so previously I had ordered directly from the company, which is great. I'm happy to do that. But being able to order it from Amazon, it's just, it's there the next it's just so damn convenient. Mm -hmm. um, so I did order it from them. It was approximately the same price. So I'll probably just order it from them the next straight from the company. Mm -hmm. But I highly recommend it. I do feel like if there it ha has ever been like a little bit of a rough moment and mm -hmm. I have a little bit of something um, like chafing or something, this is nice on it. Or even like if for some reason like my underwear is rubbing me wrong or yeah. I have like a little bit of chub rub, putting it on this is helpful just to soothe um, and like seal off that area from things entering. Don't you think you could use that anywhere on your body? I do. So when I apply it to my labia, let's be honest, I'm already in bed, so I'm not getting up to wash my hands. No. Plus my vagina is clean. I'm I would just rub it. it on my elbows. So I usually rub it because my driest part is across my knuckles. Mm -hmm. It's so bad. So I usually just pull it across my knuckles. It's actually what I'm doing right now since I yeah. just put it on the back of my hand. This is the second jar I've gone through. Yeah. I or remember. this will be my second jar. Right. Nice. Yeah. My final item is a vacuum cleaner. Uh -huh. It's a cordless vacuum cleaner that I would marry if I could. I love it so much, so reliable. Honestly, if you don't have a partner in your life, get yourself a good vacuum cleaner. <laughs> okay. It's so satisfying for me to use a vacuum cleaner that literally picks up every morsel of oh, hair I yeah, see on the ground. Nice. So I'm not gonna bring it up here right now, but it is cordless. It has multiple heads and different extenders and sucker bits and 
there's a stair attachment and something that you can use to get up high on this your window sills. sounds like you're talking about a sex toy. I know. talking about windows. Sucker bits. <laughs> Attach, attachments, heads, sucker bits. So many. So reliable. If you don't have uh -huh. a partner, get one of these. Yeah. I actually bought this at the recommendation of Go Clean Co. She did a battle of the vacuum cleaners while I was on bed rest for my surgery. And so one whole Saturday, I literally laid in bed and watched her review vacuum, cordless vacuum cleaners all day long. And I bought, <laughs> I knew I wanted one. And I told myself I was going to buy the one that she gave the best review. And so I did. It's Abyssal. It's the icon, I think. And I love it so much. My housekeeper used to tell me, Barclay's really hairy. Like he sheds a lot. And I was like, I don't see any hair on the ground. I got this vacuum cleaner and it has a light. And I said, oh my God, we're the dirtiest people I've ever met. I wasn't seeing his hair sitting on the hardwood floors. Uh -huh. I needed a light. I needed a vacuum with a light. And it doesn't just like poof the hair all over the place. It actually sucks it up, which yeah. is really nice. I couldn't be happier with it. It's so lightweight. It's got a good canister. It sucks up more shit than I can even fathom. I can't even believe it. Like our carpets are new that we had installed in our house and they're filthy, just filthy dirty. <laughs> and we don't even wear shoes down there. Yeah. Like how's my office getting dirty? Yeah, that is curious. It's getting all the dust, everything. I love it. Oh my God. And it's not a Dyson price, you know? Yeah. Dyson is cordless. I bet what, five, $600? Oh, I'm, it might even be more than that. You guys, that's too oh, much. This was one ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So worth it. And I bought the warranty, so that thing is lasting at least three years. Nice. And Bissell gives money to pet shelters. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You have to register your product, though, or else they won't do it, which is kind of a stupid thing on their behalf. Yeah, they make it really hard. Yeah. Speaking of fur, um, my next item is two hats. And uh, how does that ha what does that have to do with fur, you ask? <laughs> Caitlin, why is that? What does that have to do with fur? I am so glad you asked. Thank you. Well, these two hats are made by Fur Talk. That's right, Fur Talk. Yep. And for a low, low price of I don't know, cheap, you could get any color you want almost. Really? They come in a lot of colors. Did Did these come together, or did you buy them? Individually? I bought them individually. Okay. Um, the black one does come in a set with like a Carhartt orange yeah. one. So um, I did get these, and I really, really like them. I wanted one that was kind of like a neon yellow color, but this is a little bit more muted, which I like. I prefer it. Yeah, I love this. I wish it was a little bit less green and more mustard, but it's fine. I think it looks really good on you with your hair color like this. Thank you. I like it more on you now than I did before. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I just got a basic black one. Yep. Um, and they are thick and stretchy and just very comfortable. And if I lost it, I wouldn't be devastated because I can just go get another one and they are inexpensive. Um, so highly recommend. Caitlin, why don't you tell us what's on your mouth? On my mouth is a combination of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium, which I purchased as a mistake and now I'm so glad I own it. I wear it all the time. And then the other one is Tower 28 in Cashew. Her favorite. My favorite. I actually had lost it in another bag for a while. I'm so glad it's back. I'm happy for you. Mm -hmm. I am also wearing a Charlotte Tilbury and it is the shade Tell Laura. Tell Laura. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's a perfect orange red. I thought it really looked good with this right there. What, uh, for our weird question that you can answer down below in the comments, also congrats for making it to the end of this video. Uh, what's the weirdest thing you've ever bought off Amazon? Oh my God, wait. Oh my God. Our favorite product of all time is Satisfyer Pro 2. That's on Amazon. You should definitely get that. Oh, we should mention that in every single video of all time. Yeah. It's still my go-to vibrator. Like, Same. When it's yet, dead, I'm devastated. When it's dead, I am so sad. I love it so much. You can like, you can go gentle, you can go hard, like. And then put your Mama Taro on it. Oh. Absolutely. Actually, to be honest, I've used this and then used the vibrator and oh. it's great. Okay, that's it. Thank you. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If this was your first video, we hope you come back. I promise we're a lot of fun. Yeah, um, it's not always this random, although I really enjoy the randomness of it. Um, and then, but I tell you, we are always, we have a lot of opinions. And we're gonna share them. That's what we do. That's what we do. Uh, we curse a lot. We have a lot of fun. We are open to suggestions. So you, if you want to see something, if you want to know something about us, please leave it down in the comments. Okay, we love you. Comment like in snake. Comment like in snake. That means subscribe here in these parts. Watch our last, last video. video. Watch our next video. Watch all the videos. All of them. There's hundreds. You have nothing better to do. It is still a panorama. You can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter if you want. Goodreads. Mm-hmm. We are I relaunching the podcast. Ah!
Oh, that is the next thing that we are doing is we're recording another podcast. So We've decided to change the format, so it's not a relaunch, but we're just lazy. So we're switching it up. A relaunch, a rebrand. We're yeah. going to circle back. Yeah. Then touch base on that Take later. it down to bare bones. Yeah. But Dial it back a bit. We'll go offline. We'll take this conversation offline, don't worry. Yeah, but so um, we're just going to start shooting the shit on, on the internet, but just in a different way. If you're one of those people that's like, gosh, I don't have time to watch a 30-minute video, well, now we're going to have like 45-minute audio versions. We can be in your ear holes all the time. Ear holes. Think about that. Doing laundry, washing dishes. I know that's what... Oh, breastfeeding. Okay, we'll see you later. Uh, we're going to cut it.